to and in with the new. Oh my goodness, you just keep breaking the rules around here. On the next Divorce Court, Monday at 4.30 p.m. on Fox 5. Before your day starts, Fox 5 Morning News at 5.30. Before the traffic jams, Fox 5 Morning News at 5.30. Before you step outside, Fox 5 Morning News at 5.30. When you're up, we're on. Fox 5 Morning News at 5.30. Dedicated to bringing you weather, traffic, news you depend on. Now, earlier. Weekdays on Fox 5 Morning News at 5.30. We want to take you back now to College Park. That's where emergency workers are about to participate in a drill to train them how to respond to an attack using weapons of mass destruction. Fox 5's Tony Thomas is live at the College Park Marta station with an update. Tony? You know, ever since 9-11, authorities have been very conscious of trying to plan how they would react to if a terrorist strike struck here in Atlanta. The federal government is mandating this, so at a cost of $50,000, they are staging this drill tonight. Firefighters and police from Hateville, College Park, East Point, and Marta are all going to converge on this College Park Marta station behind me in about 20 minutes or so. The scenario, a suicide bomber has hit a Marta train right at the heart of rush hour. Right at these lights behind me is the tunnel where this train is sitting. About 10 minutes ago, and in the last few minutes, about 50 or 60 people have gone in there. They are playing as actors, as the victims in this. Some of them have big gashes in their head. One has a stake through his side. Others has th uh, third-degree burns all over his body. Real-life scenario playing out here as they try to prepare just in case the unthinkable happens in Atlanta. If you're coming from the airport, having loved ones coming, College Park and the airport MARTA train stations are closed and will be until 4 a.m. Live in College Park, Tony Thomas, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks a lot. And again, we want to remind everyone this is just a drill. It's not for real. Thanks a lot, Tony. Hispanics in Georgia are celebrating the Day of the Dead. This is the second day of the ancient ob observation that dates back to the Aztec civilization in Mexico. Tonight at Star Park, the Consulate General of Mexico and the Institute of Mexico sponsored a Day of the Dead observance in Forest Park. It featured plenty of food and there were games and activities for the kids. Day of the Dead originally commemorated children and the dead in Mexican culture. It has become increasingly more popular in the United States as the Hispanic population has grown. Big sports day for Georgia fans. Mm -hmm. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> <laughs> the clock is running, and Georgia's down right now with about oh. 10 minutes left in the game. We'll take you to All Tell Stadium for the latest highlights coming up next in sports. Fox 5 IT investigation, Tuesday at 6 and 10. He bled for 30 minutes. They sat in terror for over an hour. When you need police, how long will you wait? A six-month I-Team investigation tracked 911 calls. Are your police the best or the worst? Fox 5 I-Team investigation, Tuesday at 6 and 10 on Fox 5 News. for Ambassador Paint, $229, and get a free estimate on body repair.
Chita. And I'm Mark. Monday on Good Day Atlanta. Come on in, see my house. Trading spaces with decorating guru, Vern Yip. That's Monday on Good Day Atlanta. Are you ready for this? Click on Weather Bug. When is this coming? Click on Weather Bug. Your neighborhood forecast, free and fast from Weather Bug. Point your browser to fox5atlanta.com. Click the Weather Bug icon in the corner. Download the program, and you receive weather info for your zip code, severe weather alerts, local radar, and more 24 7, right where you live. Depend on Weather Bug from Fox 5 Atlanta. It's the weather team that lives on your desktop. Fox 5 News has your sports. Well, Karen is back, and when last we spoke, uh, Georgia fans were celebrating because they were up a point, but <laughs> now the tide has changed. This just isn't any cocktail party. I'm <laughs> telling you. Yes, Georgia and Florida, they've been meeting for the past 80 years in the best football matchup in the South, but this year the stakes are much higher. For Georgia anyway, there's an SEC East Championship on the line. Take you right to the highlights. Bulldogs jumped out to the early lead. David Green finds JT Wall all alone in the end zone, just like that, 7-0 UGA. But the Gators take the lead in the second quarter. DJ Shockley's in at quarterback now. He's intercepted by Gus Scott, who returns it for the touchdown. The Gators missed the two-point conversion, but they're still up 12-7. to Georgia led 13-12 to after the half, but then just five minutes ago, Ben Trope with the touchdown to give Florida an 18-13 lead. The two-point conversion was good, and right now Florida is leading 20-13 to with about seven minutes left in the game. Well, Georgia Tech head coach Chan Gailey almost broke down in tears after his Yellow Jackets upset 10th-ranked North Carolina State today. He said he was just so proud of the way his team has managed to fight through adversity all year, and they had to fight for a win today. Early in the fourth, NC State goes up 17-9 on the T.A. McClendon 8-yard touchdown run. But you know what? The Jackets could have folded, but they did not. A.J. Suggs marched some 80 yards downfield, capped it off with a 2-yard touchdown to John Paul Fauci. The two-point conversion is good. Game's tied 17 all. Fourth quarter, Gordon Klinkscale with the nice, nice run to give Tech the lead for good. Yeah, he fought for that touchdown. NC State, though, tried to rally in the final minutes of the game, but watch Jeremy Meyer. Myers come up with the huge interception to seal the win. 24 to 17 is the final. And how about this story? Nine years ago, Boston College beat a then undefeated Notre Dame team to spoil the Irish's national championship hopes. Well, today it happened again, but this time Notre Dame gave this game away. All 14 of Boston College's points came off of turnovers. Notre Dame fumbled the ball seven times. That's a 71-yard interception run by Josh Ott. 14-7 is the final, and we'll know sometime tomorrow just how much ground the Irish will lose in the rankings. Tennessee snapped a two-game losing streak by beating South Carolina today, 18-10. to Vols quarterback Casey Clausen kept the ball on fourth and one to score the game-winning touchdown. And Morehouse quarterback Dewan Burton threw three touchdowns today, two of them to Ken Rogers as the Maroon Tigers beat Clark Atlanta, 40-7. to And here's a heartbreaker here. Morris Brown losing to Morgan State in double overtime. 42 to 41 and Georgia Southern having no problems at all with East Tennessee State. 40 to 7 is a final in that one. Well, in just his third game as an Atlanta Hawk, Glenn Robinson has set a franchise record. Can you believe that? Tonight he became the first Hawk player ever to score 30 points in three straight games. Robinson scored 30 points tonight against the Bulls, 30 Thursday night against Utah, and 34 in the season opener against New Jersey. Yeah, we like that guy. The Hawks picked up their second straight win as well, 98 to 92 over Chicago, and they are now two and one on the season. Okay, you Thrashers fans, you can open your eyes now. And you can breathe. The painful wait is over. The Thrashers picked up their first win of the season on the road, no less, against the Florida Panthers. And it was a convincing win. They scored two goals in the third period. Frankie Caberlet iced the game as the Thrashers snapped a 19-game winless streak dating back to last March with the 3-1 win. Yes, applause. Now, weather permitting, the final round of the Tour Championship at East Lake Golf Club should be very interesting. Got several storylines developing throughout the week. First, you've got Augusta native Charles Howell III, who picked up his first PGA win earlier this year. He is playing well enough right now to position himself for a second. He is in second place heading into the final round ahead of Tiger Woods, and he is always a threat if he's anywhere near the top of the leaderboard, which he is. He misses the eagle putt right there on 
2015. But then there's a VJ Singh who came close to winning the Tour Championship many, many times, catapulted to the top of the leaderboard with this shot right here on 15, an 80-foot eagle putt. That's why they get paid the big money. Take a look at your leaderboard. VJ Singh is at nine under, three strokes ahead of Charles Howell III. There's Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods, and David Toms, all tied at four under. Well, the mood in the Atlanta Falcons locker room lately, giddiness and excitement. They've won three straight heading into tomorrow's matchup with Baltimore. The Ravens will be without their star defensive player, linebacker Ray Lewis, who is out maybe for the season with a shoulder injury, but the Falcons say the Ravens have several other defensive players who can easily take up the slack. That's the thing that really sticks out to me, their sound on defense. They play their spots well. And we're going to have to be very careful on offense this, this week to make sure that we execute very well. Everybody's in the right spot because they're going to be on the right spots on, on the defensive side of the ball. Game time's at 1 o'clock, and it again is sold out. All right. Yeah, I like that. Thanks, okay. man. Keep it right here with Fox 5 News. Karen's back uh, with a final check of our forecast. Also, the singer whose song lyrics leaves us with images of tropical paradises, well, he surprises some of his most loyal fans. Need to get out of Los Angeles now. If you missed the season premiere of 24, you missed one of the most compelling hours of television you'll ever find. You want results, but you never want to get your hands dirty. Monday at 9 on Fox 5. Are you ready for this? Click on Weather Bug. What is this coming? Click on Weather Bug. Your neighborhood forecast, free and fast from Weather Bug. Point your browser to fox5atlanta.com. Click the Weather Bug icon in the corner. Download the program and you receive weather info for your zip code. Severe weather alerts, local radar, and more 24 7 right where you live. Depend on Weather Bug from Fox 5 Atlanta. It's the weather team that lives on your desktop. Monday at 5 and 6, hot flashes, night sweats, menopause. Some doctors say hormone replacement therapy is risky. So where do you turn? The Fox 5 Med Team clears up the confusion. Could new drugs and natural products be your answer? A Fox 5 Med Team, Monday at 5 and 6 on Fox 5 News. I'm Mark Hayes. And I'm Sachitha Bablamani. Wake up informed. Get your news, weather, and traffic. Monday on Fox 5 Morning News at 530. Ken Rodriguez, Karen Mays, Buck Lanford, and Fox 5 Sports. They're taking it to the next level. Fox 5 Sports. Can the newest trend in fitness give you the physique you seek? Learn how this new device can stretch your body into super shape. The Body Machine, Monday at 10 on Fox 5 News. Well, most of the weekend was pretty nice, but it looks mm -hmm. like we may have some rain tomorrow. It goes downhill from here, as a matter of fact. We'll start to bring in maybe a shower or two, so the rain chances do increase. Temperatures hold into the 40s. Those winds out of the northwest usher in some cool air. But as we head on into Monday, another round of showers. Then on Election Day, afraid you'll have to bring the umbrella, but it's important to make it out there. Temperatures generally in the low 60s throughout much of the work week. Tana, thanks, thanks a lot. Parrot Heads in Key West got a special treat during a celebration honoring Jimmy Buffett. Hey, there he is. Buffett himself made an appearance at the 11th Annual Meeting of the Minds Convention. Now, this convention is a time for Buffett fans to come to his former home in Florida. In Florida. They come from all over to see the places that he immortalized in some of his songs. The mayor of Margaritaville thanked his fans with a downtown concert. And wow. that lost shaker of salt. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Hey, quick update, real quick. Uh, Georgia's still trailing, 20 to 13, with about two minutes left Ooh. in the game, but Georgia has the ball and they're driving. Okay. Yes. okay. We'll have complete highlights tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. thanks. Hey, and thanks for making Fox 5 News at 10 your choice for news and information. For Karen Mays and Karen McGinnis, I'm Tana Bracken. And I'm Corey Thompson. Please join us tomorrow for Fox 5 News at 10 o'clock. Have a good evening. See Georgia through the eyes of the Fox. Sky Fox 5, soaring above the state, capturing breaking news with Fox-like precision. Loaded with the best in-flight technology, it sees 360 degrees, bringing you close, this close to the store. When news breaks, depend on the Fox. Sky Fox 5, your eyes in Georgia skies, only on Fox 5 News. 
If you like a fresher house, raise your palm. If you like a fresher house, raise your palm. If you like a fresher house, don't sit around and grouse. If you like a fresher house, raise your palm. For a fresher house, all you need is a little paw power and fresh step cat litter. Every time your cat uses the litter box, he activates fresheners that neutralize odors better than the leading litter and leave a light, fresh scent. For freshness, we agree, fresh as good as it can be. Now you've got a fresher house, take a break. Fresh step freshens with every step. The Hormone Dilemma, Monday at 5 and 6 on Fox 5 News. Previously on Buffy the Vampire Slayer.